Viewers, welcome back to the coach's desk with host Coach Menze. I trust everybody is doing okay. I hope that everybody is doing all right. Now we'll be talking about uh, Reggae Boy again today, Adrian Mariapa. Yes. So viewers, Adrian Mariapa is a Jamaican footballer. English born, of course, we all know that. Um, he central defender. But because of his versatility, he also can play right back. That's how versatile uh, Adrian Mariapa is. Now, people, he progressed through the Watford um, Youth Academy. So that's where he started his, his football career. And he grew into a very good defender. Um, Adrian would have gotten a whole lot of experience throughout his, his, his playing days in England. Incidentally, he's currently playing for Bristol City. And um, <clears throat> as I was saying about his, his career in England, he would have been playing for Watford for a number of years. Long career there with Watford playing over 216 games, scoring four goals as a defender. <laughs> um, definitely, it would be good if he would have scored more goals. Um, he, he moved on to Reading, where he had a, a, a useful time there at, at Reading. Um, then to Crystal Palace, back to Watford, now at Bristol City. So, Adrian would have had a, a very good, very good um, professional career to date and um, he's doing quite well in the Bristol City team at this uh, moment. Now, when you look at his international career people, I must say this, uh, he was actually invited to play for um, the Fiji uh, um, yes he could have played for Fiji he was um, called up in a squad a training squad however we are happy that he didn't take up that opportunity because he wanted to play for the reggae boys and we are so happy that he took up the call, he accepted the call, and he made his debut for Jamaica in a friendly against Guyana. He played in the international competition, that is his first international competition in 2012. And it was a World Cup qualifier against Guatemala. And the reggae boys won 2-1 in that game. So, we're pretty happy that he would have chosen the reggae boys. So. For persons who don't know, yes, Adrian Mariapa could have represented Fiji. So, like I said, he, he would have had a lot of experience playing for these clubs. And um, we're hearing talks of persons saying who should represent as coach for the national team. We are hearing about Darren Moore, we're hearing about Adrian Mariapa. Um, in, in a recent article in one of our popular newspapers, a uh, former head coach, Schaefer, indicated that Miguel Coley, former Jamaica College head coach, would be a suitable candidate to uh, replace Theodore Whitmore as head coach but when we look into this thing we observe it um, I do believe that these persons that are up in the here um, persons are suggesting they are qualified of course Adrian is also qualified he is a UEFA B licensed coach and that is two steps below being the pro coach you have the uefa 
a license and then you have the uefa pro license so he's two steps below that one thing i look into though mariapa would have had a lot of experience playing in england um the challenge that would be for him though is that he would not have a lot of coaching experience i'm not sure the situation if he's working closely with the bristol city coach or was he working closely with the reading um, coach at the time when he was there but he, he is he's a qualified coach and years of experience playing football even though he is only 34 but he has been playing for a long period of time so in terms of him getting the, the, the position that would be good but right now based on what Theodore Whitmore is doing as a coach definitely it would be very difficult for him to just uh, be replaced as coach so my suggestion to that would be bring in Mariapa bring in some of these um, English players who used to play for Jamaica and are doing pretty well in their academies in various academies across the world in, 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 in different clubs bring some of them back in to bring some expertise have Theodore Whitmore still as the, the, the main man in charge but the, the, these persons will be of assistance in specific areas for example you could have a, a Adrian working with the defenders uh, Marlon King working with the, the, the forwards and of course Whitmore would be there working with the midfielder giving oversight to the entire um, work then you have a Warren Barrett who's also working with the goalkeeper so if, if, if this, this could be a, a collective effort from past players to come in and, 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 and assist the program because I do believe that this team can qualify for the World Cup we have a very strong unit I believe Whitmore is a good coach um, the best in the world no but I mean he has gotten the results to date in the times that he would have spent at the national helm you know what I mean so I, I, I do believe in, in a collective effort in a unit because when you look at these European clubs these top clubs in the world they are actually having um, a whole lot of players uh, uh, in terms of um, coaching staff they have a lot of persons working with this working with that working alongside this working alongside that and I, I, from what I understand Whitmore would have made requests to get um, assistance in and if these players if, if JFF would oblige then it would be a good look to have these players coming in and giving back to the nation working together as a collective unit they would have served the country Whitmore served the country he went to a World Cup yes but the, the, the task that he has is very hard it's difficult it's a tough one so to replace him with a Mariapa I wouldn't say that I would definitely have these players come in and give some of their expertise their years of experience playing in England and their, some of them, their years of experience in youth academies, at clubs, you know what I mean, giving up their, their coaching services. But the onus now would be on, on the JFF to actually see that the need is there for assistance and bring in these persons. Because um, even, even, even a, a, a big player like John Barnes, could be of some assistance to the program uh, I do believe that these players love Jamaica some might not be living in Jamaica well most of them aren't living in Jamaica but I do believe if they, they are called upon they will do the necessary to ensure that the reggae boys get the assistance needed in order to make it to this World Cup and 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 if we are looking long term it would not be only the work World Cup because from time to time these players could come in as consultants and you know do seminars workshops and so forth to even assist in the development of the coaches here uh, have clinics and uh, some football clinics to ensure that um, the players the youngsters would be um, 
quite in tune with um, international standards where football is concerned. Because sometimes these, you, these youngsters are very talented. But when it comes on to the understanding of the whole um, atmosphere of being a professional, uh, what it needs to be a professional, what it takes to remain a professional and all those sort of stuff. So these players could be quite useful in ensuring that the program lifts. And it's not only about getting to the World Cup. If we're looking at uh, the holistic development of the program, then these players, you have a Claude Davis who is, who is over there in America. He's working in, a, in, in, a, in an academy, a youth system. He's, he's coaching these youngsters. Why can't we get our past players to come and assist us in, in, in turning around the program? The talent is here, but the infrastructure is very poor. And if these persons can come in, set up a system, like I said, workshops, seminars, coaching clinics, to ensure even these persons are exported. You know what I mean? So things will be happening for the country. There are a lot of players who want to play for Jamaica. Um, the, the, the interest of many, it, it is growing right now. But I mean, what about the local, what about the local base players? They need to be developed as well because I do believe that the talent pool is wide in Jamaica. Talent, there's a reservoir of talent in Jamaica. When you it, when it talk about track and field, when you talk about football and any other sports. So I mean, it would be a good look to have Adrian on board, a Darren Moore on board, a, 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 a Marlon King on board. A Claude Davis on board, a Ricardo Fuller on board. These players could come back and, and, and give uh, uh, some good advice, some solid uh, advice to make an a, 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 a overall impact. And who to, who to tell? Shift might happen, you know what I mean? So it's, it's important, it is important, sorry, that, 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 that the JFF look on, 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 on this uh, thing that is happening circulating that these players in, in, in interestingly marlon uh king aka king he, he said that um it would be good to give mariapa a chance also mariapa is is basking in the moment to you know get into coaching and he would definitely love to take the opportunity of coaching the reggae boys he said that in an interview on on, on another program so definitely this could happen it would be great if it happened will it happen i don't know but i'm putting it out there get some of these players back on board to assist the program to move the program forward and to ensure that the youths are developed viewers thank you for tuning in again to the coaches desk we we appreciate you and continue to do what you do best to ensure that this program grows from strength to strength. I'm out.